Hello friends and welcome back to my channel, The Realigned Collective. My name is Deanna and here we do everything from Pilates, sound healing, yoga, nutritious recipes, all of that. And today I have a 20 minute booty band total body Pilates workout for you. So all you need for this workout today is just one booty band. I am using a medium booty band, medium resistance. If you have a set, you could grab a heavier one for the beginning, but I promise towards the end, you'll want probably a little bit lighter. So let's get started. We're gonna start with some bridges to get the legs warmed up and the core warmed up. So we're gonna put that band just over the knees and then lay all the way back. If you have a heavier band, this might be where you would like to use it. Again, you don't have to. I just like using one band for everything to make it simple. But if you wanna get that booty work in, feel free to grab that heavier one. So from here, feet hip distance apart, find that resistance on your band, arms just long by your side, take a second, find your core here, pull the rib cage in together, exhaling, drawing everything in, arms are long by your side, and then from here, in that neutral spine position, take an inhale, exhale, scoop your belly, flatten your low back to the floor, and then roll your hips up one bone at a time. Inhale at the top, and then exhale, melt your spine down. So this first one here, we're rolling through our spine. Inhale at the bottom, exhale, scoop, and roll it up. So you wanna articulate one bone at a time on the way down and on the way up. Inhale at the bottom, exhale, you lift. This is going to warm up the spine, get the core warmed up, and get us ready for our work. Rolling through, lifting into that bridge, feeling that resistance on the outside of the thighs and the glutes. Last one right here. Melting that spine all the way down, finding that neutral spine position at the bottom. So right here you should have a tiny little space between your low back and the mat. Just about one finger, maybe a stick of gum. From here, scoop your belly as tight as you can, just like you were holding a plank with those abs. Press all of your weight into your heels. You're gonna have a flat back bridge. So all as one unit, you lift those hips up, lower it back down. I want you to exhale as you lift this time, inhale back down. So they're just a little bit quicker feeling more of that corset feeling through those abs, like again, like a plank, and then feeling those glutes a little bit more. So reaching those knees forward in your plank, your rib cage is knit together here. Exhale, you lift, inhale back down. We're gonna go five more. Five, four, we're gonna hold it up in three, two, Last one, lift and hold it right here. You're gonna drop the hips down an inch, pulse it up, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it right there. Engage your core a little bit more. Ribs knit together from here. You're gonna open out on the band for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one, hold it right here. Take an inhale and then melt that spine one bone at a time, articulating all the way down to that neutral position. Whew. All right, take an inhale here. Exhale, lift right back up, hold it right here. We're gonna go into our marching bridge. So engage your core nice and tight. Find those obliques, those side abs. Press all your weight into your right foot. You're gonna float your left leg up. Lower it back down, right leg floats up and down. Walking side to side, lift and down, lift and down. So really tightening your abs here, using those low abs to draw the knee in towards your chest. About a 90 degree bend in those knees. Trying not to let your hips Wobble side to side, that's the hard part. That's where that oblique engagement comes in. You have three more on each side, come on. Two more. One more each side. And roll it all the way down. Hug those knees into the chest, readjust that band a little bit here. 
Let your low back release just a second. We're gonna get into a little bit of ab work here. Keeping that band right where it is, finding that tension on the band, legs come up to tabletop. Hands are gonna come behind your head. You're gonna lift into an ab curl, flattening your belly at the top. Inhale, lower it back down. Exhale, you lift. Inhale, back down. Now, keeping the spine nice and long, the neck is long. Imagining you have an orange between your chin and your chest. Don't let your belly pooch up to the sky. When you curl up, you are keeping the belly drawing down and in. Keeping tension on that band, keeping your knees nice and steady. No pulling on the neck here. Those hands are just there for support, keeping that nice neutral spine. And down just for five, four. We're gonna hold it up in three, two. Last one, hold it right here. Now, opening up on that band, 10, nine. Focus on those low abs, those pelvic floor muscles. Just for five, four, three, two, last one. Hold those knees lower down through the center. Lift and twist towards me. Lower it down and switch. Inhale through the center, exhale you twist. Keeping the hips steady, keeping those knees steady and tension on that band. Imagine you're wringing those abs out tight like you would be wringing out a wet towel. <sighs> Drawing the belly in as you twist instead of letting it pooch out. <sighs> Finding those pelvic floor muscles, <sighs> those low abs. You've got three more on each side. Two more each side. Feeling it in those abs yet? I know I am. One more each side. Breathe through it, it'll help, I promise. Now, last one, you're gonna lift up and twist towards me, hold it on this side. Now, from here, you're gonna tap the toe down. Maybe it touches, maybe not, and then right back up. Down, lift it right back up. Down and up. Lift and twist, maybe one more inch. Really feeling those lower abs and those obliques on that working side. So you're twisted towards that knee that is moving. Last one, Whew. lower it down through the center, up away from me, twist, hold it there. That opposite toe drops down and up. So you're twisted towards the knee that is moving. The other knee is staying nice and steady here. You're feeling those low abs and those obliques on that side. You're kind of reaching that knee away from the hip socket a little bit so that you're not just bending at your knee. You're keeping the shape of the knee the same. Pressing into that band. Last one. Ooh, and down. Take a quick rest. <sighs> Breathe it out. Ooh, those low abs are burning. All right, from here, we are going to bring the band around our ankles. Ooh. Feeling it, we're taking a little ab break here. Sort of, ab curl break, I should say. So come on over onto an all fours position. So that band is around your ankles. If you were using a heavier band, this is when I would switch it to a lighter band here. So from here, hands are gonna be right underneath the shoulders, knees are right underneath your hips. Find a nice flat back position here. So core pulling in tight like a plank. Now we're gonna go out to the side for hydrants. We have the band around the ankles, which is harder than when we have it up higher. So keep that in mind. I want you to try and keep your shins parallel to each other the whole time here. So that means we're not letting the knee go out first. The knee and the, sh the ankle go out together. So from here, you're gonna lift that leg out to the side and then down. Out to the side and down. Lift. <sighs> Breathing through it. <sighs> Staying nice and steady through that upper body. Neck is nice and long here. 
Feeling those outer thighs, feeling those obliques. Staying strong through those arms. No locked out elbows. Three, two more, come on. Last one, and down. Wiggle it out a little, get ready for that opposite side. Hover that knee off and out to the side. And down. You lift and down. Now again, the goal is keeping the shin parallel to the floor, using those outer thighs and not letting that upper body move. You're staying nice and strong through the arms, through the core, lift. We have five, four, three, two, last one, and down. Whew. All right, we're gonna get into some planks, keeping the band right where it is around those ankles. You're gonna do a toe tap out to the side. If that is too challenging for you today, feel free to just hold your plank position. So from here, step it out. Find a nice, beautiful plank. Hands are directly under those shoulders. You're gonna tap one side together and other side in. Out and in. Core is strong, shoulders are steady. Trying not to let those hips shift side to side here. Making sure the booty's not popping up to the sky. Look about a foot in front of your hands. Breathe through it, exhale out to the side. Strong through those arms. One more each side. And down. Woo. Okay, leg work is basically done. They're gonna be doing a little bit of extra work like later, but it's more ab stuff. But most of that leg work is done. We're getting into some arms here first. We are gonna do push-ups. Band is still gonna stay here. If you need to do them on your knees, that's totally fine. You can keep that band right where it is or take it off for those push-ups because we're getting into arms next. From here, I'm gonna show full plank, uh, full push-up first, and then I'll show modification. So if you need to, again, knees are always fine. From here, just 10 push-ups, here we go. Elbows stay narrow, press it right back up. Down, press it up. If you need to drop to those knees, I like feet up so that I am not right on my joint. Press it right back up. Just for three, stay strong in your core, two. Last one, and rest. Let's take a little child's pose. Woo, let those arms relax for one second. Let that low back release. You can take that band off while you're back here. And getting into a little bit more arm work. I'm gonna just show it kneeling here. If this is not great for your knees, feel free to have a seat in a chair or stand up and do these. Both are fine. We're gonna get a little shoulder work in. So from here, Band is gonna come around your wrists for this first exercise. Whatever position you're in, kneeling like I am, maybe you're high kneeling, you're in a chair, standing, wherever you are, core strong. Rib cage knit together, just as if you were in your plank. From here, keeping a 90 degree bend in your elbows. You're gonna open out to the side and then in. Open out to the side, in. So it's like a little shoulder fly out to the side and in. I kind of think of sweeping my wrists down around and up for this to really keep that 90 degree bend in my elbows here. Exhale, you lift. Inhale back down. Staying strong through those shoulders. You've got this for four, three. Ooh, it's starting to burn. Two, last one, and down. Ooh. All right, from here, we're gonna do, I call it a reverse salute. So Pilates, we have our salute, right? This is like a reverse one. So you're gonna have your palms facing forward, fingertips are open. I like to have them just angled in just slightly. And then from here, getting sticky on me. From here, you're gonna kind of draw the band down to your forehead, draw your elbows down, shoot it right back out and up to a diagonal. So it's a little bit in front of you, not straight up here. A little in front of you, and then pull those elbows down and back, right back up. 
inhale, straighten. Exhale, pull down, inhale, straighten. Now keeping those shoulders out of your ears, you're gonna feel the triceps, you're gonna feel the lats in your back, you'll feel some shoulders, maybe even a little bit of biceps, you'll kind of feel everything working here. Core is still strong. Exhaling, you draw down, both arms working equally. For three, two, last one and bring it down. Roll those shoulders up and back. And we're gonna get into a little bit of rowing with a little bit of a twist here. So you're gonna hold the band in front of you, gripping each end of the band. We're gonna start on just one side. So I'll start on, you'll start on your right side. From here, you're gonna pull the right elbow back and look towards it like you're doing a tiny little twist. Bring it forward, staying on that side. You pull it back and forward. Pull back and forward. That ap opposite left arm is staying super steady, right in line with your shoulder. And you're rotating through your spine to twist and look back. <sighs> Inhale forward. Exhale, twist. So it's initiating from the back and the bicep and the arm. And then you're ending with that twist through those obliques. Good, five more, pull. Four, you've got this. Strong through that opposite arm, three, two, one, and bring it down. Whew, that straight arm gets a little work there too. So everything is working. All right, to the other side. So from here, that right arm is staying steady. You're gonna pull that left arm back and rotate and forward. Pull and twist and forward. Growing taller through your spine as you're rotating. Again, initiating from the back and the arm and then adding on that oblique twist and rotating through your spine to bring it all the way through. Now, making sure that that straight arm, the shoulder stays down, that arm stays in line with the shoulder parallel to the floor. Five more, come on, pull. Here's four, three, come on, two, last one, and down. Oh my goodness. All right, arms are done. Let's get into our last little bit of core work here. From here, you're gonna sit back on your booty, put the band around the arches of your feet, and then roll all the way back down to lay on back. And we are going to finish up with our five series here. It's gonna be quick. We're gonna start with our double leg stretch here. Knees are apart, you're gonna curl up. Reach the legs out, keep tension on that band, pull it right back in. Inhale, reach, pull right back in. <sighs> Staying lifted if you can, lowering the head if you need to. <sighs> Shoulders out of your ears. <sighs> Two, last one, hold it in. Both hands come to the right knee, extend the left leg out. You're pushing out through the hamstring and the booty. Pull it in and switch. Now we're gonna keep the same position with the legs. We're gonna taking our time as we get into our crisscross. And press, just one more like this and then adding our twist. Now, coming in, hands behind your head, rotate towards that knee, extend the other leg out, pull it in, and then switch. Pull it in, and switch. We're not doing too many here today because I know these are challenging. Press. Just three more each side. Ooh, everything is burning. Two more each side. Elbows wide. One more each side. Press. Those hamstrings are on fire. Last one, bring it in. Extend those legs up to the sky. Band comes just above those knees one last time. Legs straight up to the sky. From here, lower both legs down. Lift it right back up. Both legs down, lift it right back up. If you want a little extra, find that ab curl. Or arms can be reaching long. Or head can stay down. Try and relax your shoulders. 
We got one last exercise right after this, our scissors with those legs. Three, two more. Last one. Ooh, my legs are just about toast from here. Grab behind your right thigh or calf or ankle, lower the other leg down, bring it up and switch. Again, just five on each side to finish here. Oh my goodness. Just for three, two, shoulders down, neck long. One more each side, come on, you can do this. And relax. Oh my goodness. Place that band around the arch of the right foot and then extend it up and get a little hamstring stretch. Woo! 20 minutes is all you need for a good workout. 20 minutes and a medium booty band. Bring it down, switch feet, and bring it back up. Big inhale, nice long exhale. And then from here, roll yourself up. I'm just gonna bring that band behind me and stretch out the chest. So you're pulling a, the band kind of apart and lifting it up behind you, feeling a nice stretch through the front of the shoulders, the front of the chest. One more inhale and exhale. And bring it on down. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you had an amazing workout. I hope you feel so good and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.